Hi, I am Amit Lunkar. In this video, we discuss about the limit test for arsenic, the basic principle and the reactions which are involved for this limit test for arsenic. Let's begin with the introduction. Arsenic is an undesirable and harmful impurity in medicinal substances. All pharmacopoeias provide a limit test for it. There are many quantitative and qualitative tests for arsenic. The pharmacopoeial method is based on the gadget test. Now with, with this we discuss the principle. The pharmacopoeial test is based on the fact that arsenic in the arsenous state can be easily reduced to arsen gas. And this form arsen gas is passed over mercury chloride test paper and produces a yellow stain. The intensity of the stain is proportional to the amount of arsenic present. A standard stain produced from a definite amount of arsenic which is used for the comparison with that of the test. Now we discuss the chemical reactions which are involved in this limit test for arsenic. These chemical reactions which are also known as gadget reactions. So when the sample is dissolved in acid, if it having a arsenic impurity, so this arsenic gets converted to arsenic acid and which gets reduced by reducing agent like potassium iodide stannous acid. Here is the reaction, it will form a arsenous acid. This arsenous acid with the help of nascent hydrogen get converts into arsenic gas. Here is the reaction, the, this arsenic acid with nascent hydrogen get forms a arsenic gas. Further, this form gas reacts with mercury chloride paper producing a yellow stain. And here is the reaction, this arsenic gas which reacts with mercury chloride paper and it forms a yellow color stain. So for this limit test for arsenic, we use a special apparatus and which is named as gadget apparatus. So there are the different factors which can affect the rate of reactions or rather you may say that the rate of evaluation of gas can be maintained by considering this factor like granular size. If the granular size like uh, size of zinc is larger one then the rate of reaction is slower one and vice versa means if the particle size is less the rate of reaction is quite more or increase or you may say there is the rate of evaluation of gas get increase then next one is the concentration of acid if you use concentrated acid then the rate of reaction is more as compared to the if you use dilute acid and lastly the temperature at higher temperature the rate of reaction is increased. So you may say that all these are the factors which are the you have to consider for or these are the rate of evaluation of gas which can be maintained by this considering all these granular size, concentration of acid and temperature. Agents used for the test should be arsenic free and are designated as AST in pharmacopoeia. So this AST which indicate the whatever the reagents which you use which are free from arsenic impurity. Thank you.